Hey guys, it's Colin, and in today's video, I'm going to review the VidZoom CE200 Charger Enhancer. In this video, I'm going to unbox the product. I'm going to show you how to plug everything together, go over the different settings, and how to read the display. VidZoom reached out to me asking me if I want to review the product, and I agreed because looking at the website, this device seemed to complement charging e-bike batteries well to prevent them from blowing up. The Charger Enhancer connects between the charger and the battery, and it monitors the status of the battery, including the voltage, current, and some other information. It's good because you can set how much you want the battery to charge. You can set it to charge to 80%. That way you can preserve the battery life. You can set it to charge 50% in case you want to store the battery. You can also adjust the current going out of the charger so there aren't overcurrents. To prevent damage to the battery, you can set a timer so this only charge for a set amount of time, let's say like four hours. You can monitor the battery performance over time, and I believe it automatically shuts off when the battery is fully charged. So I've unboxed everything already. Inside this box was the Charge Smart, and this is what it looks like. There's also an XT60 cable extension. There's a male and female end to extend the length. It came with an instruction manual, and you can pause this at any time to see this in detail. Separately, you can purchase these adapters and they're very specific to your battery. One side goes into the plug, this goes into the device, this goes out of the device, and that goes into the battery. There's actually two versions. There's the CE140 and the CE200. And from what I can see, the voltage for the 140 goes from 30 to 140 volts DC. The current is from zero to 30 amps. And then it also doesn't have a timer for the CE200. It goes to 200 volts. It goes from zero to 20 amps and it also has a timer function. The price for the CE140 is $69. The price for the CE200 is regularly $99.99, but it's currently on sale for $79. And for $10 more, I think it's worth the additional functions. Let's set the device up. I'm going to take this apart, plug this in here. The first step it says is to plug this into the wall. For your reference, the input of this charger is 100 to 240 volts, 50 slash 60 hertz, 2.5 amp, and the output is 54.6 volts at 2 amps. This is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, and the batteries are 13 S in series and 5 in parallel. I'm going to plug the charger into the device, and the screen turns on. I'm going to plug the other end into the battery. On the top, we can see the status. If it's white, that means this end wasn't plugged into the battery. Red means it's charging. Green means it's fully charged. We can see the input voltage and then the output voltage. We can see the current at two amps, which matches the charger. Where it says set, these are values that we can set. We can change the maximum voltage going to the battery. And I'll show you that in a second. We can change the amps going out. We can set a timer. We can also change the charging energy that's shown in blue right there. We can see the charging time on the top. We can see the charging power that says 99 watts. In the manual, it shows the internal temperature, but I don't see it shown here. I think possibly it only shows up if this device is overheating, and then we can see any error codes. It's pretty simple. There's only four buttons. If we press and hold set for two seconds, this starts flashing. Looking at the chart at the end, it's not very helpful because we have a 13S battery. There is a chart on their website. I also found one online. For a 48 volt pack, we can set the max voltage to 54.6 volts, but if we want to charge it to 80% only, we can set it to 51.5. If we want to set it to 50%, we set it to 46.8. So I'm just going to set it to 51.5. 
we can press and hold the minus button and it will change the values continuously. So I went too far. We can also short press the plus or minus button to go incrementally by 0.1 values. If we press set again, we go to the amps. My charger is only two amps, so we want to keep it close. I'm just going to do 2.5. So by having a higher amps, the battery charges faster, but it can also damage the battery. The next one is timer. We can set it from half an hour up to 50 hours. I'm going to disable it. And then we can set this to amp hours or watt hours. A lot of e-bike batteries are in amp hours. For this value in blue, it's going to keep going up until the battery is fully charged. So in order to measure what they call the effective battery capacity, you have to drain the entire battery safely. I guess that means riding until the battery is drained and then you can charge it to find that effective battery capacity. If you discharge it with a battery charger, it might damage the cells. You can do that the first time to know the baseline of the battery capacity and then you can keep doing that as a reference point to see how much the battery degrades over time. This battery is rated at 15 amp hours and this effective battery capacity may be lower than that because you're not supposed to fully discharge this battery. The last button is this on or off button so if you press it once it stops charging the device and then around five seconds later you can press it again. and it turns red to start charging the device again. If you press and hold the on button for about 10 seconds, you can calibrate the in and out voltage. In order to do that, you have to disconnect this plug, put a multimeter on it to figure out what the voltage is going out of this, and then you can change it here by pressing the plus and minus buttons. So after I didn't touch it for a few seconds, it went back to this display. If you press and hold the plus and minus button, it goes to a night mode where you only see the status. To switch out of it, you just press any button. And then if you disconnect the power, it's going to retain the settings for the next time. So as we see, the settings were saved. So that's pretty much it for this device. Overall, I think this product is very useful because there's always horror stories of batteries getting overcharged and exploding. You can set how much percentage you want the battery to charge, especially if you want to prolong the life of the battery, or if you want to charge the device 50% for storage, you can control how much current goes out of it. You can set a timer. Let's say you only want to charge it for five hours or 10 hours. This device also stops the charging once the battery is full. You can also measure the performance of the battery over time. So I think this is a very cool device to help supplement your e-bike battery chargers. And if you want to see this product, check out the link in the description section below. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Feel free to leave questions and comments in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and take care.